Thank you for joining me on this unboxing. That's the end of it. All right, um, I'm gonna real quick do this. 10.55. I like to keep an eye on the clock because 10 minutes is like the limit. If it's gonna be well over 10 minutes, you know, we're, we're running low on unboxing this channel, so I started buying random shit. Then I'm like, you know what I've always wanted? Body pillows, like more body pillows, like lots of body pillows. Because I've got one on the couch here, and then two over there in the day bed that Chewbacca likes to use as a toilet sometimes. I'll never do that again. And they're just normal, shitty bullshit. So, to remove normal, shitty bullshit in this time of crisis, because I don't want, I want to be zen, um, I bought three different body pillows, all memory foam, and all different brands. Because I'm like, oh, I, you know, I bought one for my bed, like, last year. I'm like, that's a pretty good one. I bought another, I actually have two of them. One is, like, a firm, stand-up-ish sort of one. And the other one is, like, soft and pillow-like. And I kind of like that one better, but I don't know if they sell that brand anymore. It disappeared off my, um, off the cart. So I'm not sure what to buy. So now... You'll be able to tell uh, which one to buy, at least once this is opened. So they fold it in half, and then they roll it up. So let's let's before I get into that, let's let's get the other two out. Actually, let's let's take a break from body pillows for a second. Memory foam, expensive, American-made. Those are no joke body pillows. Those are not twenty dollars a piece. Mm -mm. Vaunt. Jesus. So this is a pasta saying yes in the unboxing channel. So we now have a Vaunt headset amidst our body pillows. Oh, God. So this is, what is this? The VNTBTH01. The award for sexiest sounding thing of the year goes to Vaunt. Holy shit. Oh, this is a joke, right? I'm being I'm being punked. There's a camera somewhere. Oh, there's a camera in my head. What is that? What the fuck is that? Like It's a roomy fingertip. What is what is this? Like I Is this for people who can't use like the Bluetooth ear things because you know that it's in your ear so it's bad. So they do this. What is, like, this? They're serious with this. This is a serious thing. Let's go either way. Okay, so at least you could change sides. Hand on my heart. I swear to you and to all the things in this world that I love, that is the smallest headphone pad I've ever seen. It's also stiff. Because it's, it's that's, it's like a golf ball. Dolls. This is for, like, if you have like football dolls, this is a flat. This is very flexible, which does not help because it's gonna mean that that middle bit's gonna be the only thing that's actually supporting it. I have to put this in my head, don't I? It says Vaunt. There's a Bluetooth button in the middle. This does not bend at all. That's stiff. You got a charging port there. The USB micro. Plus and minus. There's a light. It does flip. I'm gonna put this on my ear. Put the thing down. Well, you can't adjust the microphone with it without like holding it with two hands. I mean, it feels weird as shit. Like, hello? I, I, you know what? I don't know if I'd make a phone call with this. Like, th that doesn't make any sense. At least make it like um, a cos, like a, a big, something bigger in foam. This, because it doesn't seal out. It doesn't, it can't possibly, hold on, I can get it to seal. Whoa, that's like the weird, like, um, you know what? I bet it works. I bet it works just fine. So, Vaughn, thank you for sending this out. I will, I will attempt to make a phone call with it. Not exactly the, and what does it come with? A USB charging cable? Oh, Princess Pasta, Princess Pasta, Princess Pasta. I'm going to make her wear this. I'm going to make her wear that and then do a live stream with it. Um, that's a no-no. Fucking vaunt.
I actually know exactly what that is. That's baby oil. In preparation for the return of uh, Open Borders. Giggity. Um, oh, I love swinging around my knife by the way while doing this. So we've got... Oh my god. I love how tightly packed this shit is, by the way. And I had to get this one because it's super high rated. Fucking expensive bastards. But it's called the Snugglepedic. So I was like immediately sold on Snugglepedic. I should cover these body pills and baby oil. Important notice. We ship it to you an eco friendly package, your own packaging, pill very flat cuts, blah, 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 blah. 20 minutes on a high heat setting. Oh yeah, the way you, um, if you get memory foam body pillows, or any pillow that's memory foam, and after a while it gets beat up, even though it's memory foam and should return to normal, you can refresh. Oh my fucking god, why? I wasn't even going to open this on video, but now I'm angry. I mean, I guess, whatever keeps it from exploding bottles of baby oil... I, um, spoiler alerts, why, I, if you have been watching these in a row, I, I, didn't you just buy baby oil like a month ago? Yeah, I did. And then I picked up the bottle, and did that, oh fuck! And it exploded all over my bathroom. I mean, there's like a, a, a thing that's supposed to let you like drip baby oil, so you rub it in your skin and things. And with all the hand washing, it's nice to use baby oil. Um, but it fell down, and my whole bathroom now smells glorious. It's also very shiny and very slippery. It's like they're filming a German or Japanese porno in there. And so I needed to buy it again. So don't, don't fuck up. Don't do like Donnie don't does. And drop your Bach battle of fucking thing. Holy shit, that's the most words. It's a pillow for fuck's sake. Low heat setting a dryer for 45 minutes. That one says 20, this one says 45. But yeah, you put it in a dryer. You just put a pillow in the dryer and you get it nice. Either nice and hot or not nice and hot, and just check it, and it fluffs up like a it. It fluffs up real good. This is life advice here. So now we've got. Damn, this one's extra thick. Look, that one's already started to come back to life. But now I have to get into this one. The pro. The problem is you can't not using knives. I shouldn't have used a knife on that first one. You don't want to cut a pillow. This is the co-op Good Homes. This pillow was, was freshly packed for you. Pillow has been vacuum sealed to reduce packing waste. Memory foam temperature uh, will become firm at temperatures below 65. Uh, it may have a scent. R one to two hours with a dryer sheet. This is one to two hours. So we've got 20 minutes. 45 minutes and one to two hours with a dryer sheet to get rid of the smell. So I mean already though I'm glad I bought three different ones because these are very different care instructions. This one is so fucking tightly packed. How am I supposed to open this up without a knife? All right, you know what? I'm a professional unboxer. This unboxing channel does generate some revenue so therefore I can call myself a professional. Um, that's the only way I think you can call yourself a professional if you make money. If you say you're a professional video gamer, you better make money. Uh, this looks like there's a lot of plastic here. I'm going to gently ride. Alright, there we go. And now... Uh, so there's our third one. And now to really make this interesting is when you cut it here. But when you cut it there, you got to move fast. Because the pillow is going to start expanding, like, real fast. Like, really, really fast. Oh, God, it's so thin and shitty. Um, all right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stop the camera. Because I love you people. With temperatures below 50, the pillow will feel solid. I know that, because I actually had a memory foam topper that I brought to a LAN party. The one I'm using on the daybed. And... When we were, I opened it up at the, at the LAN, it was really tightly compacted. I opened it up, I slept like a baby on the floor of a LAN party. I spent like 120 bucks in that thing. Put it in a garbage bag, put it in the trunk of my car. It was winter, it was like February of like two years ago. Drove back, my trunk was like 30 degrees. It was a block. A fucking block. Alright, uh, 
I'm going to run these all through the, the dryer at different times, or probably all of them for three hours. And then we'll just see what happens. So hold, hold, hold. Man, this camera's slow. Okay, so all three pillows have been rejuvenated by the power of uh, my dryer. And some very interesting facts. Uh, if you look at the patterning, hold on, where the hell is the fact? I need the interesting fact. Did I lose it? Oh, there it is. So two of these, I noticed, say that you can remove the stuffing. Here's what the shredded memory foam looks like. Kind of looks like spiders, spider webs. It's fine. It's actually real fun to put your hand in here and just go like, ah. but, um, so you can remove some if you don't think it's your liking as far as stiffness. And let's see where this one's made. So that's, see that, that blows my mind. So this one, which one is this one? This is the coupe. And this one claims made in USA, and here's the label, and it's got this exact same pattern with the little thing. Now we come over here to this one, and the, 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 the triangles are throwing me off. Like, why is this one triangular and this one's triangular? And this one's got a label, and this one says made in China. This is Hong Kong, but it's the exact same. Like, it's real close. Like, it's like, it's like oof. Like, are you, who's lying? One of them is lying, and probably the USA one would be lying. They're very, very similar in that they're soft. Like, look at this. Like, oh, oh, that's that's, that's nice. And the, they puffed up. Um, I've been giving them like workouts. Like, if you if you're not a masseuse, like I'm a professional trained masseuse. No, I'm just kidding. My granddaddy was a die cutter. But if you're a professional trained masseuse, you will understand what you need to do because it's not. When there's someone's like, oh, you got so much tension, you'll feel this like lump. And I've been trying to because you saw it was in there. I'm trying to like tear it apart grab it and twist rip and tear rip and tear and this is firmer this coupe is firmer than the interplex the interplex is just soft this one this one's china this one just feels less it's probably gonna be fine i'll probably use this one on the couch here because i actually don't need that much support behind me and it's okay overpriced though for this for what it is like it doesn't feel like there's a lot in here this you push down on this, this has got some support. It's lumpy. This one's hella lumpy and it's gonna need to be worked out. But both of these offer the option to remove material. Now this one, the Cool Flow, which is the more expensive one, which is the Snugglepedic, made in USA also. This one is... It feels like there's twice the material in this as there is in either one of those. This is the least like material. This has this is the most soft one, the most softest. This one, even though it's on a soft couch and it's really hard to see, is like it's got more to it. There's more bulk to it, but this one is just like there's a reason this one costs the most. Also, the materials on the outside, very soft, very flexible. Same, but you could tell there's more stuffing in it. This, this is like thick, it's like quilted. So, I mean, if I had to pick one, like I'm a big dude. If, if I was using, like when I have ones in bed, if I lay on it like this, you want the ones that have more to them. These, however, the soft ones are probably gonna be more comfortable. You can almost use them as a head pillow. I just have to really work out these stupid knots in them. But yeah, so this is a com commute, what is this, what are it called? Consumer Reports. The big expensive one that everyone loves is big and loving for a reason. And then this one, the Chinese one, which I don't remember what the actual, what was the name of this one? Mayfair Brands Limited, Kuolong Hong Kong. Yeah, I'm sure we'll be able to figure out what, this is the Enter Enterplex Home, which is like, it's, I guess I don't hate any of them. It's just this one is the softest and the thinnest. This one you can still fold in half, and you know it's like it's flexible. This one, if you fold it in half, it's sort of an unreasonable amount of thickness to it. And this one, this is a tree. It's like folding me in half. That doesn't work. So there you go. Thin, medium, thick, interplex, coupe, and the cool flow, aka the snugglepedic. All right. It's time to put the fucking things over there and make Chewbacca not shit on him! I love you, baby. Don't shit on it.